if your goal is to do this. Then keep watching. Hey guys, my name is Zach Ferguson, and this channel is all about helping you guys reach your tricking goals. I may not be the best tricker, but hopefully my experience can help you guys become the best. So normally I don't do two samplers in a row, but it just so happened that this Tuesday I'm gonna have another sampler coming out because you'll see. But um, to fill in the gap, I'm making this a Saturday upload and I'm going to teach you three easy ways to get your double full on trampoline so that you can get it on the floor. So let's get started. So these progressions are actually relatively easy. Um, basically what you're doing is you're starting with your three starter flips, um, just like your three starter Pokemon. Um, I recommend that you get a back flip, a front flip, and a side flip because that will help you with a plethora of tricks when you're learning. Um, so if you have those on tramp already, we're gonna move from there. So those are your only prerequisites. But if you also have a side full or a Rudy on trampoline, then you can get your double full in a minute. And you should probably know a full twist on the trampoline already. I have a tutorial that you can watch right there if you want to check that out first before this and then come back to this video. All right, we're gonna start with a regular full because I feel like that is the easiest. So all you're gonna have to do is literally do a full and turn micro amounts until you can get to a double full. I know that's really simple and you probably already thought about that, but I'm gonna walk you through it really quick. So what you wanna focus on doing is making sure you spot the ground behind you. The only reason I say that is because it'll help you be super, super comfortable with your fulls. When you're working up to a double full, we're gonna do it bouncing, but I wouldn't recommend learning a double full unless you can already do a full, probably standing, on the trampoline. So with minimal bounce like this. If you can do that pretty easily, then you should probably be able to do a double fold with the bounce. But if you noticed, what I do is I spot behind me and I make sure that I throw my arms up. The reason I do that is because if I throw my arms up, I know I'm actually flipping backwards, so I don't have to worry about whether I'm going too sideways or not. Um, and therefore, I can spot behind me and look over my shoulder and see the ground behind me and be comfortable with it as I have my arms over. And then all I have to do is punch at the ground or wrap towards my waist, and then I will twist. So it makes it really, really easy and really, really comfortable to do fulls and full variations. So to progress from a full to a double full, what you wanna do is you wanna do your full bouncing, and then you wanna progress to it slowly by doing micro turns. You can go full, full and a half, and dub, and that's what a lot of people do, but you can also kind of just do little micro turns until you get there, or even think full gyro. I'll show you all of these. So do your full and make sure you can spot, and then all you gotta do is when you're about to land, turn so that you're facing over here. Just a quarter turn. So it's gonna be a full turn. So I tried to get to you guys. So I spotted for my full, and then all I had to do was turn my hips like this towards you. And then you're just gonna bounce a little bit more and try to go a little bit higher and then practice it so that you can get comfortable with landing here. And then you're going to turn until you can face here. That was a little tucked up. Um, I'll try to do one more with a little more control. Whoopsie, I accidentally did a dub, my bad. So spot the ground and then turn your hips to there. Like that. And you just wanna drill that over and over again until you're comfortable. And as long as you are spotting, then it'll make it really, really easy to get to your dub. Um, if this method doesn't work for you, I have two others, but a few common mistakes with this might be that you're crunching too much. So, if you're really crunched in and you never really get straight when you're twisting, that's okay on a single full, but it's really, really hard to do doubles unless you start to straighten out more when you go for your twists. So I would practice, especially when you start getting to the 540 fulls facing this direction, um, practice 
straightening your legs because one, it's gonna make you twist faster, and then two, you might accidentally dub like I did. But if you can get to 540 full relatively easy, all you're gonna have to do is spot like you're gonna 540 full, and then you just turn your hips a little bit until you're here. It really is all in the hips for me because we all know how to wrap with our arms for the most part, but I feel like a lot of people lose down with their lower body. They don't like engage and pull. Um, Scotty Skelton always said that there's three twisting parts of your body. It's your shoulders, your hips, and your ankles. Um, I really focus on shoulders and hips, and maybe that's why I can't trip right now. But um, for now, what I want you guys to focus on is either those three or just shoulders and hips to finish it out. But basically, what you're gonna do is set for that high 540 pull spot and then twist until you're facing back this direction and you got it. It's pretty easy once you drill it a bunch. But if that method didn't work for you, you can use a front flip and progress your front flip into a dub. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna go front flip, front layout or front whip, front half, and then front full, and then Rudy. Once you get your Rudy, it's super easy to just turn backwards and set like a full, and then Rudy, and then you'll have your dub. That's actually how I learned it on trampoline, because I was always better at front flipping motions and not back flipping motions. So once I learned that it felt like a Rudy, I had dub on lock every time. So hopefully this method will work for you. But I'm gonna do it as forward towards you guys as possible. Um, I'll probably go out of frame, sorry about that. But <clears throat> essentially what you're gonna do is you are going to um, set with a regular front flip. You can do it as tucked up as you want. And then after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna work on making it uh, straight legged. So you're gonna whip your lower body down really fast as your legs go over, but make sure you still get a little bit of height so you don't just slam yourself into the trampoline. But it's gonna be like this. Yeah. After that, all you have to do is set for a front half. So again, you don't even have to do the front layout. If you uh, aren't comfortable with it and you already have a front half and you just bounce back and forth, then dope, you can just start off like that. But the easiest way to explain it is that you set like a front flip, you keep your eyes on the ground, and it feels kind of like you're doing a round off. So if you just stay open while you're doing a front flip and you think round off, you'll probably do it. But it looks like this. And it's really as simple as that. It's just front flip, keep your body as straight as possible. Try not to pike, really. Try to keep straight, um, but you can pike a little bit, definitely on the set. Um, and then it feels like a round off. If you can do front flip and turn facing this direction, then you're ready to turn it into a front full. For a front full, all you're gonna do is you're gonna set high for that front half. And then again, just like on the last method, you're just gonna turn your hips a little bit at the end so you're facing the other direction. Um, I find that it helps to do your front half and then I raise my arm of my twisting side because it kind of makes me twist and come down straight. I don't really know why, it just is a natural thing, but it helps me to land my front full. I'll show you what I mean. I guess I kind of raise both hands, but essentially you just end facing this way. And the way I make sure that I know where I am is I keep my eyes right, like right on the ground the whole time pretty much. I'm twisting and I'm just looking at the ground. Then if you got that baby super duper solid, then it's time to get your Rudy. So all you have to do is do your front pull but go as high as you can. Really set for a front flip on this one because a lot of times people will pre-twist with their arms um, and it tends to make them go a little more sideways and drop one shoulder. So you wanna make sure you're going straight over and then once you feel the front half, you just wrap in tight. Keep your eyes on the ground and keep your legs straight and you will go past front full straight to Rudy, which is front 540 and you should end up facing this direction. But 
train that until it's second nature. It should be so comfortable for you. Because you can keep your eyes on the ground the whole time, um, it can help you to get really comfortable with double twisting before you ever even throw a dub. But if you're ready to throw the dub, all you have to do is that technique that I was talking about before, where you spot over your shoulder to the left, and then you look at the ground, and then you just do a Rudy, baby, like this. so you guys can see how it really is just set for a full look and then Rudy I'll do it a little bit faster and just make it a natural double fold now travel a little bit on that one but that was my natural double fold and if those two didn't help you hopefully you can use the third method which I hate the most which is side flip or side fold so I actually side flip dominantly on my left but I twist to my left, so I need to side flip on my right. So I do side flip on left and right, but my right side is my worst side um, because my body always wants to de-leg it a little bit. So I really have to fight to go on the side flip axis. Um, so it's a little bit harder for me to side fold, but I can still do it, especially on tramp. Um, either way, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a side flip and then slowly progress to side fold. And then from side fold, you go for your dub. So do your side flip by stepping and kind of, you can step forward like this, or you can punch forward almost like a front half. Um, and then you turn and you tuck. Either way is fine with me because it doesn't matter because only matters like what you do in the air because, hey, chill out Cardinal. Thank you. Um, it only matters what you do in the air. It only matters what you do in the air not how you set for the side fold because we're turning into a dub. Side. side flip. From there, again, micro turns. Spot your ground, turn your hips. So you're gonna do a side flip, which normally lands here. And all you gotta do is, you can face this direction if you're not comfortable, or you can twist all the way to here. I'm not very comfortable, so I'm gonna do the micro turns. So here. here again I'm just looking at the ground when I do it I personally like the technique of grabbing tucking getting in the ball looking at the ground and then kicking open to turn you can also do it without ever grabbing you can just tuck in and then open but I find that it looks a lot like a Rudy so I'm trying to be clear that it's side full in this one and once you can twist to here um, you can get it to here and then here will be side full Okay, I lied. It's harder to do the micro turns for me. So I'm just gonna turn all the way to there. I think I actually over twisted a little bit on that, but that's a good problem to have. It's not that big a deal. Um, I started here, I twisted past here, all the way to here. Um, so if you can twist like that, then you could easily dub by using this technique. So from there, all you're gonna do is the same thing we did on the other ones. Start facing backwards, Set for your full spot. You can tuck or not tuck. I will try to tuck for you. Uh, and then you kick out and twist. Whew, that was pretty hard. It's kind of like a skull snapper, but I think I grabbed only left instead of both legs. Or you can do it without actually grabbing at all, you just tuck a little bit and then open. As long as you're thinking side full in your head, then you'll do a dump. Spot side full. Whew. Like that. So 
Either way, I hope that helped you get or improve your double full on the trampoline. Um, those are three different ways, and I'm sure someone like Lucas has already done this or whatever. I don't even care. He's done like a million videos, whatever. But um, hopefully you liked my take on it, and hopefully you gained something new from this. If you did like it, please like the video. Please leave a comment down below and let me know if you did like it or if you learned something from it or if there's something else you want to see from me. Um, I do have that full hyperhook tutorial coming for you. Um, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, but for right now, um, I'm kind of stuck in sampler. Heck, it's not a bad thing. Like I, I, I'm happy about these samplers. Um, and I wanted to shoot something else really quick for you guys for Saturday. If you enjoyed the video and you want to help me on my quest to a thousand subs, then please subscribe to my channel. I'm around 720 subs right now, which is a super dope number, um, but I'm pushing towards a thousand. I'm getting really close um, and then I'll be able to monetize and I'll be able to do community stuff. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. So thank you guys either way just for watching. And until next time, please stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you guys later. You guys hear that? Something's going down.